here we are, uh, day one of our Royal Bank Cup adventure. Uh, my name is Jeff Dick. This is Cody Bueller. It's Admin Cody. It's windy. I'm gonna keep my hands on the it's wheel. It's windy. Better keep your hands on the wheel. Uh, beautiful first day. Let's let's take a look outside. Let's take a look outside right now. Yeah, Obviously, just gorgeous. Uh, just gorgeous weather. We've got some dark clouds. Everything's really windy, rainy, cold. We had some ice a little earlier as we're traveling down uh, the good old number one here yeah. in Manitoba. Yeah. So we're starting at the top, Cody, number one, and uh, on our way. And we're going to end number one as well. Oh, see, confidence. Yeah. Confidence is huge. Now, Cody. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what we're going to be doing this week. Obviously, it's a big week. We are yeah. on our way to Camrose, Alberta. And uh, tell us a little bit about what's going to be happening in Camrose. Well, it is going to be an awesome week uh, it's for us and for the Portage Terriers. Uh, just being at the RBC Cup is quite an honor. There's only five teams in all of Canada that make it. And uh, to be one of those five is just huge. It's quite an honor. And uh, there's going to be great games. We've got four round robin games. And then uh, the semifinals Saturday. And the finals on Sunday. Five teams out of 137. And... Uh, as you said, quite an honor here for the Portage Terriers. Uh, we've been following them all year, but for people who don't know very uh, very much about the Terriers, what kind of team would you describe the Portage Terriers as? The Terriers are a team. That's as, that's as much as you can describe it. They play as a full unit. There's not a ton of just individual superstars. They play together as one very uh, cohesive unit. And uh, yeah, that's just how they play together. Fan. All right, Cody, uh, you wandered out there trying to find out what's going on. Uh, the end of your toothpick is frozen, I will say that. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, it's kind of a mess out there. I walked as far as I could before I got freaking frozen. And uh, it's just cars and semis and semis upon semis upon semis. I never even got to the front. And uh, I was talking to uh, the Leslie's also from Portage, just ahead of us. And uh, he was saying that they've been sitting here for about three quarters of an hour. Which, right now, by the when by the time it is now, it's about been about an hour they've been sitting here. Well, we've been sitting in the same spot on the highway for about two and a half hours now. Cody, uh, he's trying to pass the time. He's got the crossword puzzle out. How's it going, Cody? Uh, it's been better. Jack, I got 20 guys. Well, here we go. Four hours. We've been uh, stuck on the highway. Which is why I'm hanging on to you. Weather uh, didn't really look vastly improved. And uh, we've resorted now to, to, God, Herb, to watching serious, hockey you're movies. A little, yep. little bit of miracle right now, Cody. Yeah, exactly. Uh, How are you feeling after four hours? I mean, I will. I'm good. Coach. Ask me again when the new movie's over. Not All right, so uh, we're entering hour number five. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Of being stuck on this highway in Saskatchewan. We got the seats reclined. Just enjoyed Miracle. Good movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. Good movie. Mm -hmm. But now the laptop's out of juice, so we really got nothing <laughs> left. Pretty much, we just got to look and watch that stopped line of traffic way up there. Oh yeah, check this out. That you can just see through the windshield past that car there. I'll try and zoom in a little bit. That is the line of traffic right there. And as you can see, who knows where the end is? It's pretty extensive. The white wood in. As you can see, the sun going down is eight o'clock Saskatchewan time right now. Nine o'clock Manitoba time. We're in the town of Whitewood, Saskatchewan. We've been uh, directed here by the Army and the RCMP. Waiting in line now to hear what the RCMP are going to tell us, Cody. Uh, it has been quite an eventful day. Yep. Uh, we left Portage at around 10 a.m. Yep. Uh, we got into Saskatchewan. The weather took a uh, turn for the worse. Yep. And we ended up stuck on the number one highway 
in a traffic jam. We stayed in the same spot for roughly six and a half hours. Yep. It's true. Uh, obviously, <laughs> nerves are a little frazzled right now. A little bit, yeah. Uh, how are you feeling? Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Surprisingly, not that tired yet. I've wasted all my awake hours sitting in line. Um, I had a couple treks, so I got my exercise in. I was walking up and down the line. And it was so bad that you could stand on the middle of the road, and it was so slippery and so windy that the wind literally pushed me to the side just standing on the road. We made it all the way to Regina. The roads were great. We met no, uh, we met like one or two vehicles going our direction, which was great. Uh, fueled up in Regina. We're heading north to Saskatoon, and it's looking good. A couple of slurpees. That's what we mean by fuel up. <laughs> exactly. So, Code Rail fuel. And uh, obviously, we got a long drive ahead of us as we yep. spent uh, six and a half hours in the same spot on the highway. And about another three or four in Whitewood there, just yeah. trying to look for answers, but. Uh, Let's tell you, what time is it now? This is Saskatchewan time. So it's 2.32 yeah. back in Manitoba. And uh, we still got about 220 kilometers to Saskatoon and it's about another 150 past Saskatoon to North Battleford's where our stop is tonight for night one. So we got a little bit of a drive ahead of us, but yeah. uh, happy not to be stranded in Whitewood. It is quarter after nine here in uh, just along the Alberta border, just approaching Lloyd Minster, as uh, we are on our way from North Battleford to Camrose, Alberta for the RBC Cup. Jeff's driving this morning. Just left the hotel. Jeff, you ready to go for today? I am, uh, I'm ready. I'm still a little tired, I'm not gonna lie. The, uh, the three hours of sleep, not really that much, but um, hopefully we've got enough adrenaline to take us to uh, Camrose and uh, get that first game under our belts. I'm excited. You excited, Cody? I am very excited. You know what day it is today, Jeff? It's game day. It is game day. It's the game Portage day. Terriers in action today. It's going to be good. I'm excited. I'm excited as well. Plus, at least it looks a lot better than it did when we were in Saskatchewan. No <laughs> snow true. whatsoever. None. And there's hills. We go from sitting in a blizzard for six and a half hours to it looks absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful it's day. true. Lloydminster, Canada's border city. You can see the big red posts up ahead. That's it. That is the transformation from Saskatchewan into Alberta. We're almost there. We are approaching Alberta. Very excited about this. This is Jeff's first time through Lloydminster. I believe. I may have I may have been through this. My dad is watching. He probably knows better than I did. There's the big post. There goes the guy on his bike. How come the Saskatchewan side gets the KFC? Welcome back, day two. Uh, we left this morning from North Battleford, Saskatchewan, and uh, now we're just coming in. Uh, a little bit of rain starting to fall around here in uh, Alberta, but we are just coming up the beautiful Camrose, Alberta, host city for the 2011 Royal Bank Cup. Cody, uh, I'm pretty excited right now. How are you feeling over there, Cody? I am pumped. I cannot wait for this tournament to are. start. Downtown Camrose, Alberta. Finally made it, just had some lunch. Uh, we'll give him a little plug, Bono's Grill. It was delicious, Cody. Yeah, fantastic food. Everything was nice. Fantastic, and uh, the the restaurant also, all decked out in RBC gear. Uh, they are, are pretty pumped up for this tournament. We've been seeing a lot of stuff all over town, welcoming the RBC and things like that, so uh, the whole town really getting into it. Yeah, definitely a great atmosphere here in Camrose as uh, we're just making the way down the street on the way to the rink. Two minutes left in the third period. Camera is still up 3-2. 